Before beginning maintenance, always follow all established guidelines and procedures according to your company policy and lockout tagout practices. The MSC-800 controller is located in your automatic identification system's control panel mounted on the system frame. If you have one of six analytics solutions user interfaces on your system, you can use it to verify the health status of your system components, including the MSC-800 controller. Always use your system troubleshooting guide to confirm the need to replace a component. To remove it, you will first have to open the system's control panel using the six supplied specially shaped hexagonal key. Prior to starting the removal procedure, switch off the MSC's supply voltage at the main switch inside the panel. To start the removal procedure, loosen and disconnect all cable connectors, sockets, and pluggable terminal blocks at the MSC. The terminal blocks are coated. Note the sockets from which you have removed the cables for reinstallation later. Loosen the 3mm fastening screw on the left-hand side of the MSC and slide the controller out towards the right. Remove the SD1 memory card, which contains the saved parameter set from the defective MSC controller. Insert the memory card into the SD1 slot of the new MSC. Install the new controller in the control cabinet. Reconnect all cable connectors, sockets, and terminal blocks at the MSC, noting the coded connections. Reattach and tighten the 3mm fastening screw on the left-hand side of the MSC. Verify that the new controller settings are the same as the old settings on the defective unit. Switch on the MSC's supply voltage at the main switch. The controller will start up and load parameter settings from the memory card into the controller's permanent parameter memory. During maintenance, take appropriate safety precautions and follow maintenance safe practices. Only qualified personnel should attempt to perform the system maintenance described in this video. For more safety information, refer to your system's maintenance and operations manual.